Hello and welcome back and today I want to show you guys how to install the very latest version of Kodi on your QNAP NAS. I'm of course talking about Kodi Matrix and that's version 19 which is currently in alpha. So if we look up Kodi Matrix we can look at some of the advantages of this latest version. It's out there, it's got plenty going on and of course it is supported by both Firestick and a number of other platforms. And I will be doing a Fire Stick installation of Kodi 19 shortly later on. But for now, let's focus on what we're doing because one of the reasons a lot of you guys associate NAS and Plex is simply, uh, and then Kodi, is simply because Kodi provides you with a great graphical user interface to allow you to watch the media you own. And NASes allow you to store huge amounts of data and QNAP, uh, along with one other NAS brand, Acer Store, are the ones with the l largest degree of hardware that involves an HDMI output. So in order to install Kodi on a NAS, it's highly recommended that you go for a QNAP or an Acer Store. And I will be looking into an Acer Store installation, but for now, let's talk QNAP. So in order to do these things today, we're going to need to use a, um, a laptop or a graphical user interface to make our way into the NAS. And after that, Everything else is kind of at your fingertips, including needing the internet. So, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you install the Hybrid Desk Station application. This is the graphical user interface of the NAS to allow you to see via HDMI. HD Station runs parallel to the NAS system, so although we're accessing the NAS right now via a web browser, HD Station is a completely parallel running user interface of our NAS uh, that's displayed over HDMI and luckily for the sake of screen recording you can also access it remotely and that's what I'm doing today you don't have to follow any of the steps I'm doing but it might make things easier for you later on so I'm going to open that up there and we'll come back to that tab later on so to install Kodi version 19 codename matrix you have to make your way to the App Center. You may have already noticed that Kodi is not available on the App Center, and that's because QNAP chose to no longer support the Kodi application because of its occasional um, associations with people that like to play creative with the terms of copyright. Of course, before I go any further, please, please, please make sure you're going to use these tools and stay legal. These are, you know, these tools have a huge amount of potential to help a lot of people enjoy their media. Let's not spoil it for everyone else. So, the next thing you need to do is head up to this cog right here. Click on that cog, and then from there, click the app repository. Repository. There you go, I'll say it right. Now, make a note of this URL, because this URL here is what helps you <clears throat> access the unofficial app store. Now, once you've made a note of this URL here, which won't be on your screen, by the way, head to the add button, name this um, HD Station Unofficial, or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter what you call it. And then from there, enter that URL right there, and then click add. From there, it will then add that store here. From there, click close and then click the new button that's appeared on your screen. <clears throat> Sore throat there, driving me crazy. So when you go into this new tab that you've created here, it will take about 30 seconds for the whole page to refresh because what you're looking at now is the brand new unofficial app center. This is all of the apps not included by QNAP and you use at your own risk, obviously. But at the same time, there is some great apps here, both for games, download tools, sharing tools, migration tools, cloud tools, and more. But what we're looking for today is down here in the tab marked HD station. And if we scroll along, there's Kodi 17, Kodi 18, Kodi 18.5, and finally, the Kodi Matrix version. Now I've already installed it, but all you have to do to install it is to click that open button. There's a bit more information there, and this is a relatively new inclusion in that app center. Once you've installed it there and it says open, don't bother pressing open there. The next thing you need to do is click close, and then connect your HDMI monitor, as well as your control method, be it keyboard mouse, be it remote control, or the Q Remote free uh, QNAP remote control application for iOS and Android. Now, as mentioned, 
I'm going to be using remote access here to see the HDMI output, but you won't need to do that because this screen will be ready available to you via your HDMI port. I'm simply using this screen here, accessing it remotely, because it's a great deal easier to record with OBS. Now, you may also see a drop in frame rate while I'm doing this. It's not to do with the NAS. It's to do with my screen recording software dealing with quite a dense HDMI remote output at high resolution. But as you can see, I've already installed a few applications already, and most of these are official. The Spotify, the Skype, the QVR Pro, these are all official QNAP included apps. But I've also included some Plex ones, which should be in a Plex video that's live now. And of course, the Kodi Matrix app. Now it's worth highlighting that you can select this to boot it, or if you go into the options menu at the top, you can make sure that um, this device always opens directly into Kodi. So you can select it so that whenever you go into this, you can make sure this auto runs, so you'll never have to manually select it ever again. Coming out of that, we can go back, and now we're going to run the application. It's as simple as that. And again, if you're using a remote, it's that simple too. Now, just to confirm, we can go all the way to the top to show that this is the right version. And I'm using uh, the keyboard now just to prove that this is all navigatable. We've just uh, up, down, left, right, and an enter button. If we go to the information screen, we can see lots of information about the system we're running on. This is a QNAT TS251D. And we, if we go to the bottom, we can find out which hardware we're using. And on the bottom right of the screen, we can see Kodi version 19 in alpha. So as I say, we have now installed Matrix version, uh, Kodi version Matrix, which has got all of the add-ons that you want to play with and will utilize the internet connection of your QNAT NAS. For those who are traditionalists and want to use one of the old school themes, you can always make your way into the system and install the default skin. And again, I have to double check. I'm trying to remember where exactly uh, the themes section is. Uh, but I do remember the name of it, luckily. So if we go to the interface option, we go to skin, we go into the available skins. You can switch to many of the others. And from there, we've got loads and loads of skins to choose from. And again, some of them you may be familiar with, some of them maybe not. But there's lots of available skins there that are all very, very familiar to long-time Plex users. And I'll be honest, there's quite a lot to play with there. They even arrives with a touchscreen familiar skin, if you so choose, which you can flick, flick back and forth if you like. But it really is that straightforward to install Kodi version 19 on your QNAP NAS. I'll be looking into seeing the installation path on an Acer Store NAS. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe. And I'll see you next time.